Hey, welcome to everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick video on the Buffalo Sabres. Yes, the Buffalo Sabres and their goaltender, Craig Anderson, who, yes, his stats might not look too sexy on a page of paper, but in my opinion, he has still been fairly solid in his final season, and that's going to be the title of this video. Well, in potentially his final season, I should say. He has been fairly solid in potentially his final season with the Buffalo Sabres. His stats might not show how solid he's been, but all the way up until this year, like last year, he was great in four games when he went to the Capitals. The year prior, he was still solid uh, for for the Senators. Wasn't terrific, but he's never really been one of those Tom Terrific uh, goaltenders, minus two years with the Panthers in 07, 08, 08, 09. Uh, the Senators in, thir in 12, 13, and the Senators in 14, 15. There's a few years... He's been fantastic, and then 16, 17. But throughout his career, he's just been a very solid, steady Eddie. Um, kind of just keeps everything at ease, goaltender, but nothing overly special. And that's what he did this year. And the man's 41 years of age now. So, I mean, base, or 40 years of age, excuse me, but still, close. Uh, is still playing like a bat out of hell, diving for you, trying to attempt to make saves. It definitely wasn't a lack of effort why he had a 312 and an 897 and was the first time in four seasons in his late 30s going into 40 that he had below a 900 save percentage. So Craig Anderson on eyesight has still been a solid at least two level goaltender, if not a guy that can start for a team like Buffalo that's still building their way up. Malcolm Subban struggled this year and has had injury issues. Dustin tokarski has been injured this year. I love Dustin Tokarski in a Baroon form since his Phantoms days. Love that dude. Glad to see he's back and having some good games. Beat the Phillies, beat the, beat the Phillies, beat the Flyers, beat the Isles. So, good to see that he's having some good game. But Craig Anderson to me, and I'll be doing a video on Tukarski too because I just said I love him, but uh, what, Craig Anderson to me, um, he's a very solid, still backup level goalie where it could be potentially his last year, but he could also be a goaltender that goes to a rebuilding team and, and plays as the backup to if they have a youngster. Now, the Flyers might not necessarily need that my team uh, because Hart, I think, already kind of knows the tides and ways of the NHL. He doesn't necessarily need a vet veteran backup. He can have one of the young guys be the backup. But there's other rebuilding teams, or hell, if Buffalo wants to keep him, other than Dustin Kukarski, potentially, he's been their best goaltender this year. Yes, they have Uka Pekka Lykanen, who's developing in the wings, but you can never have enough solid veterans like Tukarski, who busted his ass to work his way up to the NHL by being a solid AHL or and then Craig Anderson, who busted his behind to be a former third-rounder and then work his way up to being a very solid goaltender his entire career. Those are two valuable veterans to have in-house as you have goaltenders growing through your system. So I do think it's key to keep one of those two around for the Buffalo Sabres and either Tukarski or Anderson. And Anderson has more age, or NHL experience, I should say that it might make sense if he doesn't want to retire just to keep him around, to have a guy with that wisdom and that experience in the locker room um, around the goaltender, the young goaltender liking it. And then you still have Dustin Crossy as well, who to me is a perfect third stringer. He can step in, play some good games, nothing overly sexy or special, but can play some good games for you and put up some decent stats. And you can have a solid three tandem there if he doesn't decide to retire. But if this truly is the final season for Craig Anderson, it's the only season in the last four years he has below a 900 save percentage, so hell of a finish to a good career for Craig Anderson if it is a final year. But I honestly hope it's not because I think he could still play into his age 41 season and be a pretty solid backup goaltender and at very least a third-string goaltender because the last couple of years he doesn't have a lot of attacks in his body. He only played 35 games in the last two seasons. So, uh, I mean... To me, I think he could still go one more year, but that's obviously going to be up to him. But this has been a quick video on Craig Anderson, the latest edition of Sportsman News Hockey Videos. Please continue to subscribe down below. Up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to 2.30 or more by the end of April. Really appreciate your guys' love and support this far. Good on Craig Anderson to be able to put together a good um, play in front of Buffalo, who started playing better in the second half of the season as well. They're at 31 rims right now. I don't know if anybody would have had the Sabres pegged for that, I think it's 31 and 38 and whatever the final number uh, for the Sabres. I don't think anyone would have had them pegged necessarily that close to 500 yet. So hats off to them also on their solid season, looking like they might be a little bit ahead of progress so far. And that would be good for Sabres fans as maybe Adams is the right choice for them and he can really get it going. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.